Has the time come for us to make some angel tokens? Awaken the erstwhile? Sweet. So we'll Dawn of Hope. Swing in with our angels. And the turn. Okay. I'm down to three. Right now is one. Cavalier of Night. I lose a life. Okay. I'm going to cast a Foulmire Knight. Yes, we did it. All right, folks, welcome back to the Slayer's Den. It's Slay Anything, and today we are playing a little deck I brewed up called Awakened Visitation in standard Magic the Gathering arena. The basis of the deck is basically built around Divine Visitation, which allows you to create a 4-4 white angel creature token with flying and vigilance anytime um, one or more creature tokens would be created under your control. And uh, the awakened part of the deck is Awaken the Erstwhile, which forces each player to discard all cards in their hands and create that many 2-2 black zombie creature tokens, which is um, pretty awesome for a few reasons. First of all, it uh, creates that many angel tokens instead of 2-2 black zombie creature tokens, so you're already kind of at an advantage. Um, not only that, but it gets rid of powerful cards in your opponent's hand. Um, it may just get rid of removal or um, any combo pieces or just it really disrupts your opponent basically. Using Awaken the Erstwhile with Divine Visitation kind of eliminates the disadvantage of giving your opponent creatures because your creatures are bigger, they're badder, and they're ready to fuck them up. This seems like it could be a pretty fun deck and a lot of crazy stuff going on, so let's give it a shot. Just wanted to remind you again, if you guys enjoyed the video, please remember to smash the like and subscribe buttons below. Not only is it a great way to support my channel, but best of all, it's completely free. So without further ado, let's play some Magic the Gathering. All right, folks, we are playing some Awakened visitation in standard magic the gathering arena and um this hand looks pretty decent we have um, an early play we have one of our namesake cards and a way to hopefully remove um any early flooding from the opponent or any flooding of the board rather so let's go and keep this one turn one i'm probably going to just hunted witness uh, but if i can get the divine visitation out it should be pretty interesting Because then, you know, Hunted Witness dies, I get a 4-4 token. Alright, opponent plays his Heart's Desire. I'm gonna play a Scour Barons, just gain a life. And um, we'll do no attacks for now. I doubt he would want to trade off, but it's something I can just hold up for now. Um, we'll go play another Scoured Barons, and we'll just pass the turn. Ramping up to Divine Visitation would be pretty cool. Um, all right, we got Godless. We just drew Godless Shrine. Um, we'll go and play a Swamp, and I think we'll go in Witch's Vengeance Humans. Yeah, we'll go in Witch's Vengeance Humans right now. We'll get rid of his Edgewall Innkeeper, and then I get to put a 1-1 token into play. reason I wanted to do that was just to get rid of his Edgewall Innkeeper so he couldn't get any extra value. Okay, discard two cards. That's fine. Play a... Godless Shrine. Pay the two life. Divine Visitation. And uh, things are looking up Millhouse. Really, I'd love to get something that can create tokens. Awaken the Earth style would be first of all, would be pretty freaking awesome, to be honest. Um, so we got a swamp and a conclave tribunal. I think I would rather just go ahead and remove that just in case he does have a one-one. Or no, actually, no. We'll just pass a turn. And the reason we'll pass a turn is because if he does play a 1-1, then he'll swing in. But I do have a chump blocker right now, so I'm not too worried about taking the damage. Um, see, so I can block. And then I can Conclave Tribunal if I need to. Another thing I can do is probably just Ritual of Soot here. So, um, yeah, let's just go in Ritual. Wipes his board. And, um, yeah, we can go ahead and just... We'll play a Swamp in the turn. 
I was holding up the swamp just in case I get like an awakened. That would give me some more tokens, but um, either way, play the swamp. That way we can maybe cast some multiple spells if needed. Loaming Shaman. Target player shuffles any number of target cards from their graveyard into their library. Ooh. Very nice. Okay. Um, so basically, he just has a 3 2 on the board. I'm not really too worried about that. So I think what I'm going to do is just pass a turn until we can draw one of our combo pieces. I wouldn't mind if he played another creature. Okay. He plays a Conclave Tribunal. We can exile that. Definitely don't want that coming into play or getting too him getting too much value off of that. Then if he casts another creature, we can, of course, um, Realm Cloak Giant. So not too big of a deal right now. Uh, so we'll go ahead and Conclave Tribunal is Lucky Clover. And uh, we'll play an Orzhov Enforcer. So that way we have a blocker and a way to create tokens now. And if we just put some creatures onto the board, then you know we can always Realm Cloak Giant. So... Not too worried about that either. Uh, so this is pretty interesting. We got a Massacre Girl. I think what we can do here is... I think there's two or fewer cards. So this is going to have flying and it's going to be able to swing in for four. I think what I'll go ahead and do is just destroy everything with Realm Cloak Giant. <clears throat> and that'll allow me to put a 4-4 Angel to play. That might have been a little premature because he might have like a bunch of creatures, but... You know, it is what it is. I do have more removal in play. Okay, I'm gonna play a Smitten Swordmaster. I'll play a Godless Shrine. No, actually we can just play, yeah, we'll play the Godless Shrine and we'll play the Realm Cloak Giant. And we'll just pass a turn. Opponent returns some creatures. So he's gonna make me discard my Massacre Girl. I'm not too worried about that. All right, uh, so I have a Noxious Grasp I can hold up, but for now I'm just going to just swing in. Would love to get one of my token makers into play. And the turn. Yeah, something like a Nissa. Uh, this will be great. Um, even just his Okami Ranger. Okay. Pump plays Beanstalk Giant. So this is perfect if he decides to cast that. Okay, plays his Murderous Rider. Swings in for two. That's fine. My turn. Okay, I drew another land, so that's not very helpful. Uh, what I'm going to go ahead and do is just swing in. He's going to have to block here, so that's fine. Gives him two more life. And, um, you know, just at this point, I'm just really looking for ways to create tokens. So we'll see what we can find. He has a few different options. Reaper of Night being one of them. Swings in for two with his Order of Midnight. And um, he's going to pass it to me. My turn. All right, sweet. Okay, so we can do a little bit of... We have some fun here. Two. So we can destroy... We can pretty much wipe his board at this point. Two, three, four, five. And we'll just go and swing in. For seven. And if he casts his Beanstalk Giant next turn, it should be GG. So let's see what the opponent has. I think he's going to be forced to play this. Maybe another creature? Valmire Knight? Okay, that's fine. I think what we'll do is... It's so funny. I love when people like like rush you. Like you're going to like fucking do something. All right, let's go and scour Barons. Gain a life. And um, we'll just go ahead and do no attacks for right now. Make him think that he there's something he can attack into. The opponent plays Fable Passage, cracks it, plays a Swamp. Let's see what he's got. I wanted to attack with both creatures, but I have a feeling he's probably just going to attack with his Beanstalk Giant. Ah, right, let's see. If I can get him to swing in with that. I'm just going to go ahead and Noxious Grasp that then. Gain a life. Come on, tokens. Okay, opponent Okamis. There we go. All right. Sweet. So now we've got something. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, three, four, five, six. Okay. Yes, we did it. We did it, boys. Let's go. Adventures who? All right, folks, welcome back. We are playing some Awakened Visitation in standard Magic the Gathering Arena. And uh, this hand looks like a... Looks like we could keep this one. We'll play a Godless Shrine. Tapped. 
pass a turn. Next turn I can Orzhov Enforcer probably. Yeah, why not? We'll go and do that. Actually, yeah, we're gonna play the Swamp. Orzhov Enforcer. Okay, opponent plays an island. Let's see what he's got. Play a Castle Arvindale, and I think I'll just go and swing. Pass the turn, hold up a Murderous Rider, just in case he has any creatures, maybe like a Vantress Gargoyle, I'm not sure what he's playing, he's on blue so far. Playing against Wolverine. Excuse me, I'm Eric Lentra. Tales Xavier. Go fuck yourself. Okay, got some is it, and uh, my turn. Just go ahead and swing. I think we can just kind of just hold off right now. Looking for lands, I am kind of dry on lands, unfortunately. Go ahead and destroy his fires with Mortify. He plays Tamiyo's Epiphany, scry four, then draw two cards. Okay. Interesting. Awaken would be kind of cool here and uh, kind of crappy. I'd love to have it just to force the opponent to discard. Um, playing against fires deck should be interesting since they can't do anything about... Um, awaken on my turn when I cast it, but I will need one of my sweepers to kind of ensure that you know I just don't get overrun by say like a handful of cards that turn into two two zombies. At this point, I really just need lands. Okay, uh, another castle Arden Vale. I play Dawn of Hope here. I want to say yeah. We're just gonna do that, and I'll just go and swing in for one. Pass the turn. Opponent plays Temple of Triumph to scry. He does have a very large hand, so an Awaken would be pretty interesting next turn. He would have like so much power on the board, but if I can draw a Sweeper as well, things should get a little bit interesting. Okay, so we got Planes. I want to say we can just Conclave Tribunal this. And just go ahead and swing in. Still, I'm looking for some kind of removal, a mass removal, for when I awaken. Okay. It's got that. Double strike. Definitely don't like that, so can we just Noxious Grasp? Yeah, let's just go Noxious Grasp. Puts it back into his library. And uh, yeah, I'll just go and auto pay so I can draw. There we go. This is kind of a little bit more what I'm looking for. Okay, opponent plays a Fabled Passage. Cracks it. Fires doesn't usually play counters, so... It would be interesting to maybe awaken... I think I might awaken this turn just if he pulls something like a really strong answer out of his deck with Granted. He's got a Outlaw's Merriment. Fun. Does he have the mana to cast it? Okay, he's just gonna play. Bay of Wishes, that's fine. Okay, so what we will play is if we awaken, we get four and he gets five. And uh, I think I'm okay with that because we do have some token generation. So we'll just go ahead and... Do I want more land though, is the question. I feel like not having land is kind of a bummer, but I don't want just three tokens to his five because that will put me at kind of a disadvantage, won't it? No, let's go and play the land because I do want the land and um, we'll decline the Dawn of Hope and we'll just awaken. <clears throat> and uh, no attacks. So we did clear his hand of um, a little bit of action. We got the Outlaw's Merriment out of there. Bone Crusher, um, and another Fae of Wishes. So we'll just block, and um, and we'll and we'll take the rest. We can swing in with the others. I do have ways to gain life, so so we'll just go in and swing in with everything. Swing in for five. Bring him down to ten. Let's see what the opponent has. May have like a bone crusher giant. No, he's just going to scry with Castle Vantress. That's fine. Definitely needed to awaken there. Um, just because Outlaw's Merriment would have given him so much value. Okay, he 
Bone Crusher Giants that. That's fine. So, takes four. Play another Orzhov Enforcer. And then we'll just end the turn. So, if the opponent swings in again, we can block one of his zombies with the Orzhov Enforcer. And then we can also Conclave Tribunal for one. So, we have some options here. Okay. Opponent. Bay of Wishes for a Flame Sweep. Okay. That's fine also. Gonna go ahead and Dawn of Hope here. And we'll just do some blocking. I'll take the five. Opponent decides to flame sweep, that's fine. I'll have my Orzov Enforcer still out. Okay. Play as Bone Crusher Giant. Bone Crusher. We can go ahead and swing in with both of these. Bring him down to nine. And uh, I want to say we can just Witch's Vengeance Zombies. He was going to do that anyway um, with his Flame Sweep. And he may just end up doing that either way. That's fine. So now he can't really swing in with his Bone Crusher Giant since I'm going to get an Afterlife token. So, um, But he can't swing in with his Fae of Wishes still, which is fine. He okay, plays another Fae of Wishes. No blocks. Two, three, four, one, two, three. Okay. So at this point, I'm just kind of looking for answers. Um, we'll do no attacks. End the turn. Definitely need some of my removal going on. Okay. Plays a Fires of Invention. That's fine. Zero cards in hand. And uh, whew, what do we do here? I think we'll definitely Dawn of Hope for one. And we'll just block this. We'll gain some life, draw a card. Okay, draw a swamp, not exactly what I'm looking for. We'll play that. And uh, yep, just no attacks. Hopefully we don't just get grinded down by Fey of Wishes. That would really suck, but it is what it is. I should have been playing my lands um, a little bit more regularly, because at this point I would have at least eight mana up and I could double um, create Dawn of Hope tokens and um, we could triple block the Bone Crusher. So it looks like he's not going to do that. Um, but what I will do is uh, just go and do we just go and block here? I think we do no blocks and um, and we will just go ahead and Dawn of Hope token anyway. All right. So this is pretty cool. This is actually perfect. Um, we'll play a swamp. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and massacre girl. I want to say actually no. We'll go combat. I'll swing in for one. And let me see one, two, three. Would this kill? Will massacre girl kill all four of these? I want to say yes. My math is fucking horrible. So one particle of unatanium has a nuclear reaction with a flux capacitor. Carry the two, changing its atomic isotoner into a radioactive spider. You science. Let's just see if that works. I think it does. There we go. Sweet. Now we got Masker Girl. And uh, the opponent's going to need some answers here. Otherwise, we just did it. Okay. Opponent Scry 2s with Castle Vantress. Looking for answers. One top, one bottom. And um, let's see what we got. I'm just going to go and swing in for or here play a swamp and end the turn okay shimmer possibility that's fine it's looking at the top four cards of his library Let's see if he was able to find an answer for my massacre girl otherwise it is gg okay skargan hellkite um you can give it riot and also can do two damage among one or two targets so play that and then yeah i think he can just burn me out can he I believe that's correct because he'll go four and then he needs to do three more damage to me. Yeah, and that'll be game. Damn. Bummer. Oh no, he didn't do haste. What are you doing, man? Oh shit. Okay, nice. I thought he would have won if he had just given him haste, right? Wow, okay. Punt. 
We pulled the win out anyway. All right, folks, we are playing some Awakened Visitation in standard Magic the Gathering Arena, and I think we will keep this amp. We can Scour Barons, turn one, Orzhov, turn two, and we have kind of a curve going on, so this should be pretty good. Okay, Scour Barons, gain a life, pass the turn. Witch's Oven, okay. One. Play a Swamp and an Orzhov Enforcer. Kind of sucks, but we may have to pay for Godless Shrine and maybe even Conclave the Witch's Oven. Oh, actually, no, we won't have to do that. Go ahead and get rid of the oven, though. Don't want any, like, cat shenanigans going on too early. And I didn't mind doing it since I have two sweepers in hand, so I'm not, like, sweating it too badly. But it looks like he's playing Rakdo Sacrifice, so, you know, it is what it is. Mayo Devil, that's fine. So we'll play a Godless Shrine, and we'll let that enter tapped, and we'll play a Dawn of Hope. No attacks. So we do have our token generation now, so that's nice. If the opponent plays like another Mayhem Devil, or some smaller creatures, we do have a couple of board wipes. That's fine. Probably gonna go straight to the face there, no. No way to really kill the Orzhov Enforcer very effectively. Okay, cast a Judith. That's cool. That swings in for a three. And um, I think I'm okay with that. Let me see. Do I take the four? Yeah, we definitely trade here. Okay, play a Plains. And I think we just pass a turn here. Let's see. Wrath. Yeah, we'll just pass the turn. We do no attacks. There's no need to get greedy right now. If he has anything big, I can always despark. If he fills the board, I've got Witch's Vengeance, so I do have a lot of ways to interact with the opponent right now, luckily. Okay, I'm gonna cast a Midnight Reaper. Um, Yeah, we'll go ahead and let that resolve. That's fine. A token, and we're going to double block. And we'll get to draw a card and do a damage to me, but it is what it is. <clears throat> we are removing a threat off the board for a pretty meager price. All right, play a swamp, and um, I think we just pass a turn here. We can still Dawn of Hope and block. Get some card draw. So we're not losing too much card advantage by actually doing that. We do want to get rid of the Midnight Reaper eventually. Um, can't do anything about that, sadly. I'd love to be able to cast two of those. I can't despark, so I can. Dawn of Hope. Pass the blockers. We'll block this. I'll gain the life. I'm going to take in one if I do this, and then I'll just go and auto pay so I can draw a card. There we go. We have um, Divine Visitation, so I can kind of get something going online. Um, let's see. We'll Divine Visitation here. Then we'll play a Scoured Barons. We'll gain life, but we won't be able to draw. We are kind of en route to start Dawn of Hoping. Um, an Awakened would be freaking fantastic here. I'd love that. But Kai's Wrath will work just as fine next turn. So Alright, so not much we can do with this, unfortunately, but we can... Let me see, what are these? Human Shaman, Zombie Knight, so can't really do anything with that. Um, I think I am just going to have to Kai's Wrath here. Or do I? Hold on, let me see. I think what we can do is, yeah, we'll go in Kai's Wrath, I guess. We need to get these two off the board. He gets to draw two cards. It's sad for us, but um, we can't let him swing in for like five every turn. And then I'll just play a Giant Killer. Yeah, I'll play Giant Killer. Now I can block the one ones that come into play. Chandra. Just have to be as smart as possible. Um, he's probably got some removal, maybe? Let's see. Nope, okay, cool. 
Yeah. I'm gonna say captive audience enters the battlefield under control of an opponent of choice. At the beginning of the upkeep, choose one that has been this card your hand. Each opponent is five five. Okay, so we'll resolve that. Doesn't know is that I'm going to despark, obviously. Okay, so cast Chandra, let that resolve. Pass out attackers. We're going to despark this captive audience. Nice a try. Okay, we play a attack there. And at the end of the opponent's turn, we can Dawn of Hope twice in a row to get two flyers, so I'm okay with this. Okay, we can say Mayhem Devil. Also fine. And forces me to sack a creature. Resolve. That also is fine. <clears throat> I'm going to take one to the face. But I am going to start pumping out Angels, which is awesome. Pretty excited about that. You may bump up the loyalty. Yep. Yeah. Cool with together. me. Set attackers. We'll just Dawn of Hope twice. Maybe the opponent can see where this is going. Okay, Murderous Rider is one of them. That's fine. Also very fine. I'm cool with that. Okay, we got a Castle Arvindale. So let's go. Let's see. So we go toward that. Then we Witch's Devil... Witch's Vengeance, the Devil. <clears throat> and the turn. I think the opponent can hopefully read the lines here. Plays as Murderous Rider. And a Cauldron Familiar, that's also fine. Really glad I took away his Witch's Oven at the beginning of the game now. Okay. Chandra's. That's the blockers. We'll block one. Down to nine. Go ahead and Dawn of Hope. Once. Sweet. Okay, so we'll go ahead and swing one here. One here. We'll finale for three, and it's probably concession, but I'm not going to make any assumptions. I think the opponent can probably see where this is going. Okay, Footlight Fiend. Fine. Sweet. We did it. We did it. We are playing some Awakened Visitation in Standard, and I think... I think we keep this one. Let's go and keep it. Turn one, the Barons. Pass a turn. I have a million uh, sweepers in this deck. Didn't draw one last game, unfortunately. Okay, one plays Urban Champion, Scorching Spitter. That's fine. I think we may just have to... I think burn just does way too much damage to not get rid of these. So we'll finale of eternity, wipe his board up. I'm sure he's got a million other creatures in his hand, but we gotta do what we gotta do. Okay, Chandra Spitfire. That'll get annoying real fast. Play a Swamp. And, um, whew, what do we do here? I think we Conclave. Just in case he has, um, Cavalcade. Okay, opponent plays Footlight Fiend. Glamour, Shaman. Fine with that. We'll play Scour Barons. In life, we'll auto pay, draw. And we will play Haunted Witness. So we kind of have our combo set. Okay, so I can't block. And I will be taking a ton of damage here. But luckily, I do have Realm Cloak Giant. 
to wipe the board. Let's see what the opponent has. Shocks me in the face, that's fine. Okay, I'm down to seven, but the opponent may be drawing dead. Play a swamp. And um, yeah, divine visitation, why not? Let's see if we can combo off. All attacks. Gain a life, and we'll auto pay. Card. Pass a turn. Opponent plays Footlight Fiend. We'll play a Planes. I think we play aggressively. We will auto pay. And we can awaken. <laughs> Let's awaken and just get two 4 4s. Sweet. You thought Ember Cleave was going to save your ass. So we finally kind of comboed off. We got our awakened visitation. Okay, maybe he has like a shock in hand to destroy something, or... There we go. Play of planes. We will swing in. And uh, we'll just end the turn. What does the opponent have? It's Dawn of Hope twice. And yes! Awakened Visitation. That was pretty sick. Okay, we are playing some Awakened Visitation in Standard, and we'll keep this one. We will keep playing against Fires, so that's fun. Play a Swamp, pass a turn. Scratch to the top, one at to the bottom. Plays Planes, and a Healer's Hawk. Okay, interesting. We will play a Planes, and we'll just pass. A flyer's deck, you say? Okay, take one. Drain for one. We will play a swamp, and we'll just pass the turn. Opponent swings in with Healer's Hawk. Cast a Warden, okay. We'll play a Plains, and um, I think we'll just Ritual here. Yeah, we'll Ritual here. Don't want anything too crazy happening. He might just play a Sphinx this turn, so I can Tribunal that, or I'll just go in Prison Realm that. Okay, cool. Play Castle Locked Wayne, and I will Prison Realm his Sphinx of Foresight. Give me an opportunity to scry and see what I need. Uh, do I need more land? I think at this point I kind of just want some more answers. Fairy Miscreant. Second Fairy Miscreant. Healer Talk. Winged Words. Draws a couple more. Just Massacre Girl here. Sure, why not? Let's see what the opponent has. Clear the board up a little bit, but I do have a Conclave and a Murderous Rider to kind of just spot removal. Otherwise, I can put a little bit of pressure on him and swing in. Fae Wishes. Interesting. Okay. Let's see what the opponent uses Granted for. I don't usually see Flyer decks play with Granted, so I wonder what his... Um... Oh, Planar Cleansing. Okay. I see you. Uh, okay, we'll play Scour Barons. And we can swing in for four. That's fine. And the turn. And plays Fey Wishes. Let's see if we can force him to discard two cards. Is that is that the play though? Alright, um just go my turn. Play planes. I'm hoping he has um something to tap out on, but most likely not. Takes the four, and I do have to force him to. Yeah, let's force him to Fey on his turn, I think. I wonder if we can. Oh, I guess he's not even thinking about that right now. Probably gonna play a Planes and try to Planar Cleanse. Then we can just kill his Sphinx. Pure and Eagle. It's fine.
Do I like that or no? Not so much. Just let that go through, I guess. Might as well. You'll take four, and then we can... Realm Flow Giant here. It's an Orzhov Enforcer. Pass the turn. There's another Hushbringer. That's fine. I think he's waiting to Planar Cleanse. Um, whew, what to do here? Don't swing in. I can't block Hushbringer anyway. And uh, yeah, we'll just end it here. Let's make this a good match, guys. Come on. I wanted to Planar Cleanse already, but it doesn't look like he is drawing the lands he needs. So I guess we'll just go ahead and destroy this, right? I want it to be getting more life. Scour Barons. Alright, opponent. And uh, yeah, we'll just swing in for one. Murderous Rider. Because why not? It's a weird tempo y Flyers deck, I guess. Okay, put a place. Hushbringer one more time. Let's go ahead and, I guess, destroy that. And we'll just swing in. That's also fine. And um, just end here. That's fine. We might be able to draw into something. Keep on place. Fairy Miscreant. Cool, 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 cool. Arvindale Tactician. Awesome. My turn. Play a Dawn of Hope. And uh, swing in with Murderous Rider. Two life. We'll auto pay. Grab a Swamp. Guess we could play another Murderous Rider? Yeah, sure, why not. And the turn. <clears throat> okay, take two. What does he from have? Nothing yet. We're just swinging with everything. Might just Arvindale Tactician again. Also fine. I think we will just end the turn. There's Empyrean Eagle. Okay with that. I think we just attack with everything. Gain life. Four, five. Don't decline on that one. And, um. Shit, why not? Massacre Girl. <clears throat> Let's wipe the board. And the turn. So planar cleansing time. Should we just awaken here? I feel like that's kind of greedy, but at the same time, not greedy enough. I'll just play this. And the turn. 
We need to get divine visitation. We gotta do it, guys. Come on. Got to freaking do it. Wonder if this is like a time wipey deck though. My turn. I just don't know if this is a time wipe deck. It's very risky, I feel like. But we're here to take risks, are we? We are here to take some risks. Okay, opponent castle vantresses. At the end of my turn. Kind of hoping to awaken and divination. Come on. It's time to combo off. Okay, plays is Ardenvale. Hmm. So what to do here? I feel like we can definitely destroy this. Tap this down. Swing it for seven. Orzhov Enforcer, I guess. And the turn. Swings in for four. Maybe as a time wipe? Let's hope for a time wipe. If he has a time wipe, then I'm fucked. Aha! I like it! I really like it. So he rallies the wings. That's fine. Takes two. And then do we awaken? Let's fucking go. Make him discard whatever the hell he has. Okay. Resolves, he scry twos. Yeah, we gotta go big or go home. One top, one bottom. And the turn. We get a crap ton of tokens. Now let's see, he's gotta draw, he can draw twice. Looking for that time wipe. And I think we got it. Yes, we did it. We awakened. Good shit. Good shit. That was awesome. I think that's where we'll end it today. So that was Awakened Visitation. Overall, it was a really fun deck. I definitely recommend it if you're looking to play like something different. But anyway, thank you guys so much for checking out the video. Really appreciate it. And if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to smash the like and subscribe buttons below. It's a great way to support my channel. And best of all, it's completely free. Thanks again, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for checking out the video. If you enjoyed it, please remember to smash that like button below. And to help you stay up to date with my upcoming videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks again, have a great day, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, Slayers.